Hi, this is Clint Kearns with Southern Gospel Tube. I stand next to a legend, Brother Laverne Tripp. Oh, so, you. so good to be with you, my brother. Uh, tell us kind of what some, some news that's going on right now with you. Well, thank you, Clint. First of all, it's good to be with you. I'm glad. appreciate what you're doing to get the word out about gospel music. I'm doing what I've always done. We're singing, traveling, singing, and preaching, and whatever we can to try to pull the net in and bring the souls in. I believe it's harvest time, you know, and uh, people are hurting. People don't uh, understand what's going on. We live in a different world now than when I was a little boy. Yes, sir. And it's changed, and I, I just want to see. I want to bring hope, and so we're trying to bring hope, not only in this country, but in every country we go to. We've been to China. We've been to Russia. We've been to Africa. We've been to India. been all over the world. And the wonderful thing is, no matter where we are, I find out the name of Jesus works everywhere. Whoever yes, calls on him, they're changed. Yes, sir. How, well, let me ask you, my brother, how long, how long have you been saved? When did you get saved? Actually, I got saved when I was a little kid, real small. And, uh, so I mean, I was raised in church. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't, I, I mean, I wanted to serve God when I was little, but when I got around puberty, yes, you know, sir. something happened. Happens, happens all the time, <laughs> And I began to desire to satisfy the flesh more than I did about walking in the Spirit and being what God wanted me to be. I rededicated my life to the Lord 33 years ago and uh, began to pursue this spiritual journey. I'm still on it. I still haven't arrived. And, you know, the good news is I know now God's not looking for perfect people. No, sir. No, sir. The ones that are perfect are no longer with us. Yes, sir. The rest of us are either making progress or we're going backwards. So it's our uh, responsibility each day to seize that day and to lay down our selfishness and self-centeredness and self-loathing and, yes, and just and seek Him. Ask because I can't deliver me from me. Right. But on this journey, I try to you know God free me from the bondage of self so that victory over that I can be a vessel that He can work through to help others. So that's my goal. And no no regrets, my brother. Oh, no, no. What I've done, I did it. You know, I'm not a, uh, I started saying I'm not ashamed of it. It'd be nice to change it, but I can't. I know it's forgiven and forgotten by God. Yes, I don't mind talking about my past to someone else if it'll help them. Sure. And a lot of times it does because, uh, you know, Paul said in my weakness, you know, he's made strong. And so when I talk about my weak points, well, then that's, that, there's that's a lot where of his hurting power people. Goes. There's a lot of hurting people. Yeah. And, and everywhere I go, I, I see folk that are touched by the songs that you sing, touched by the ministry. Well, to me, I mean, God called me to be an evangelist. He gives me, I get a sermon, I put music to it, and I preach my sermon in three minutes. Don't you wish every preacher oh, did that? <laughs> so I think gospel music is a powerful tool um, to use to prepare the ground to, to reap the harvest, sow the seed, you know. Yes. Well, do you have any new projects coming uh, going uh, going on right now? Well, actually, I just we released our 78th and 79th full-length recording. Uh, the 78th is entitled "The Dreamer." Uh -huh. It has 10 new songs on it. I wrote the 79th one is called "Foundation Stones." And it has 15 of the old songs written in the 1800s. I didn't write any of them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> songs like the Old Rugged Cross and Amazing Grace and Jesus Loves Me. We brought our, we have six grandkids. We brought them in the studio and they're singing on Jesus Loves Me. They each sing a little line, you know, and then we do the chorus together. Edith sings his eyes on the sparrow and I know he watches oh, me. Yes. My, my, what a beautiful, beautiful rendition she does. A lot of great songs, Shall We Gather at the River and in the sweet by and by, you know, stuff like that. And I, I love it. I wanted to do it. Most of what we do is new songs, and uh, we wanted to do the old ones. So that's the latest one, yeah. Foundation Stones. Now, do you have a website, my brother? LavernTrip.com. Yeah. LavernTrip.com. Mm -hmm. And those that are watching this interview, if you're watching it on Southern Gospel Tube, if you'll look to my right over here, I'll have a link for that. Thank you. Good deal. And uh, we are, matter of fact, at the World Gospel premiere. Of music, I saw you last year here. Yes, didn't get a chance to talk with you, but we're honored that you would take the time to speak with us and give our listeners a little Thank bit. Thank you, Clint. God bless bit. you. Keep Thank up the you. good work. Thank you so much, my brother. Bless you.